Oh, I got the burpee still. Oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to one of my favorite games in the fucking world. I have been really wanting to play this literally since it came out, which is over 10 years ago. I started it a little years, bit, I think? yeah, but I never got into it. Then I like the narrative of this game. This is, oh, it's one of my favorite I'm a narrative guy over gameplay. And the gameplay's not bad, just medium. Yeah. Gameplay's not bad, but it's just, it kind of gets in the way. So this is perfect for me. I'm going to get to experience the story. Yeah. And you figure out the gameplay I've, and I've, like, by the how way, to kill these monsters. I am fairly uh, experienced with the story. Uh, <laughs> I've gotten... Oh, uh, yeah, you... Uh... I you love Dead right? Space. I fucking yeah. love Dead Space. And I want to experience it because it's something that has just brought you so much joy over the years that we we are going to eventually do this whole series 100 percent, yeah, yeah including the weird wii version uh i don't, mm. <laughs> I don't know if I want to i'm do just that. throwing that out there and putting you on the spot I mean, do you have a wii because i don't have a wii anymore uh i what was it called have extract no wii. extraction dead space yeah extraction i think I don't know. That was if, a prequel to this one, actually. I don't know if that comes up in this narrative, so don't tell me if it's a spoiler. Isaac, but what I liked about that one is similar thing. You're going to bitch. I said subtitles. I'm sorry about. It. You're you're going to. Give me my fucking subtitles. <laughs> There's no subtitles. Nicole, don't you have a fucking me about this one? I can't believe what's happening. Nicole, why have you wronged me? <laughs> Nicole, there. it clearly says <laughs> subtitles on, and yet you think you're so much better than us with your fucking science suit on, telling us about shit. How many times you watched that? There it is. See? See? Kendra gets it. She knows what's up. Who's he? Hammond. Who's in the seat? The front seat. Chris, I don't want to spoil things, but they don't matter. <laughs> okay. But who's to the left? You? Yeah, it's Isaac Clark. What's that light? That's the that's a star. Cool. Oh wait, you said you didn't want me asking stupid questions. No, I did not. I gave you a brief rundown at the start of the episode. I do love how they like they talk about like mining. Planets in the future. Yeah. Like pl the idea of a planet cracker vessel is such a cool idea to me. Mm-hmm. Impressive. You like literally just fucking Shimura, biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. I mean, I don't know how efficient that is to like Why literally rip a piece of the earth nice. up and then mine it in Corporal space, but it makes sense. They clear that debris field right here to fix their ship, not the other way around. But yeah, the USG plot, at least at the beginning the of this, uh, the Wii one, to your call. is in, you're Shimura. going to investigate a mining a facility. Yes, this is on planet, not on a ship. Yeah. But... More. Well, they were setting up the, the tethers to planet crack it. Everyone, uh... I heard of a total communications blackout on one of these everyone just you turns into monsters, and so phone. you kill them, as you do, because they're monsters. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then... It reveals they weren't. You're just crazy. You were hallucinating. They're not actually monsters. You're the monster because you just killed a bunch of normal people. Yeah, that was the the early, kind of ties in. That that was early in the game. I don't know if that's actually the case or not. But um, I mean, the way I've described this game is it's basically Resident Evil meets Event Horizon, and I, I mean that in every aspect of the phrase. Oh, hold on. The, uh, I love the the way this whole like blast shield situation works. The video feed pops up. <laughs> I mean, basically, 
we will learn things, but you're That's an engineer sent in to, ideal. to fix No, I get I was asking stupid questions yeah. on purpose. Sorry, that was my comedic okay? bit. Comedy genius! Oh wow, you can... I think you can see Isaac's face at this point in the game. That's Isaac. <laughs> Look at him, so fresh-faced and innocent. So, he does not talk in this first game. But he talks in the other ones, and he's one of my favorite characters. He's just fucking done with this shit, isn't he? So, in the first one, he's like very silent and like he has grunts and that's about it. In the second one... He's about just talking to his doom guy. No, in the second one, he's hey, very much like, yeah, like, we need to go down to the uh, basement right. uh, where there's no lights and turn on the generator. And he goes, out. yeah, I don't want to fucking do that. And <laughs> yeah. they're like, yeah, but you're the only one qualified. He's like, okay, I'll go do it. But I don't and like, like it. that your HUD is actually yeah. like a thing that you look down to. Well, there is no pause menu in this game. Right. You look in your menu, shit's still happening. You're yeah. just not paying attention now. How confident would you be if you go on a ship and your engineer goes to stand up and his AI goes, to run, <laughs> move quickly. You'd be like, oh my god, we, we're working with an But idiot. like, as an example, go into your menu. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. But yeah, Kendra and I are like two engineers sent down. Yeah, there's my pimp stance. What is that? You're the, shining a light? That's my, uh... Objective. Okay. But yeah, so like this is my my menu, and it just operates like in the game as. Yeah. That's pretty great. Yeah. The nice thing is you can like walk around while also using your ship. Okay, you know, yeah, I understand. See, objective complete makes sense. Bleep blooping an achievement for walking through that okay, door. Calm I down. hate. Calm this should yourself. just be an in-game thing. I'm just saying. I'm looking at you, Gears of War. The like walking out of the box you start the game in gives you an achievement. That's fair. It's like fucking really. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. For a 2008 game, looks pretty good. It's really old. Though I, I don't know if it's gotten like Xbox One res because we're playing this on the backwards compatible. I don't. Think I don't think it's... so. But I mean, Xbox One minimally boosts games just by default. Like you yeah. have to remake an Xbox One version to really get get it. Well, no, but but it's running on the uh, backwards compatible, which is just an emulator at its core, right? Yeah. But, but I guess like, the I processing mean, power will just, yeah. Dragon Age Inquisition is an example. That came out for 360 and 1 at the same time. But what I'm saying is this, didn't, this the, is not a remake for Xbox One. No, but playing the 360 version on 1 will improve it a little bit. But playing the 1 yes, version yeah. is like a totally different game. So if that's what you mean, no, they did not make an I like, Xbox One version. On, I like how Isaac, they're like, we got to figure out what happened. Isaac opens this door and goes, I'm just going to keep this information to myself. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, room is might, covered in blood. You might want to mention that. Unless it's um, going back to our Metal Gear playthrough. Fluid. It's transmission fluid or power steering fluid. We're so basically just finding out that like, all the, like, the core systems of the ship are just... Yeah. Fucked. Seems to be flung again. That's a start. Oh, the air's turned on. That's nice. Don't worry, I'm just going to stand here while I'm looking at everyone inside a big glass box that can't possibly have anything go wrong there. Everybody relax. What was that? Did you hear that? Not sure. Maybe you're not sure if you heard that. That was a pretty binary question. Not ideal. That's interesting. You guys okay in there? The doors are locked. Run! Okay. Ah. This game does atmosphere very well. Oh my god. You can't wait till you find the loudest room in the history of gaming. There's, there's a there's a room in this game that is possibly the loudest thing I've ever encountered the, in a game. Um, it's the engine room. It's like, the, oh god. One that I remember is the room, room full of hanging chains. was really unsettling just watching the shadows move on the wall. Well, that's a very, like, alien. Yeah. Uh, 
reference. But no, there's a room where it's a single hallway you walk in, and it's like you're over some sort of like generator or a core. It's just, it's just like, no, it's like, 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 uh, and it's like metal things. Like, if if you told me that the Foley artist walked into a room and just fucking took a chainsaw to a, like a Scrooge McDuck pile of pots and pans. Cut off their limbs. Armless one armless. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you could turn off like tutorials like you played yeah. before. With that cutter gun. Well, it's a mining tool. That's the whole point. Is, is, is the best weapons in this game are mining tools. And to be honest, like if you want to explore, I'll take other weapons. This is the best weapon in the game. If you just solely upgrade this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be the other side guy. This can be. I'm. Well, I'm doing something. I'll be, I'll be there in a second. Got a health kit. Ooh, some money. Yeah, yeah. His head's still on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so Isaac is a sadist. Okay. I think I can save this guy. Well, I did. <laughs> Oh, I forgot how fast! Oh my God, I forgot how fast you fucking jump on me. Please stop. Let go. Excuse me. Let go. Could, oh. could you? Uh, <laughs> could you? Could you kind of not? <laughs> Ooh, he uh, he did a a heckin' good bite on me. Yep. But I love that your health bar is on your spine. Hey, you okay there, bud? You good? <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Dude, Isaac Clark's Lord of the Dance <laughs> yeah. is is incredible, okay? Yep, yep, okay, I got you. Yep. That sounds like a fucking dog's name. <laughs> I think that was Benson who we just encountered there. Yeah. But I'm not entirely sure. There's there's a couple times where you encounter like um NPCs this at, would when make, they die, Isaac. but Isaac. this would make a good movie. Oh fuck yeah. Series actually would be better. Just cause a, a big point of it is like how much you're stuck on the ship and you have to fix yeah. things like Resident Evil pads things out a lot in their games. Yeah. Um, this actually works from the opposite, where the fact that you just are perpetually, you know, in a fresh hell. Yeah. But first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. Sounds, you're, you're crazy, Hammond. No, you. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> yeah, so, so Hammond's basically like our security slash military, um, escort. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side. I like side how you can see them over there, but then I can also like yeah, can. see them in the screen. But you yeah. can. It's a nice touch. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram. Is it a bridge to Terra you? Yeah. Oh, and Can so I, I think movie? I think you might have missed it. Um, our girlfriend was like uh, on the medical team on this yeah. ship, so. Uh, I think when, like, the SOS went out for, or, like, when they went dead and couldn't be reached, Isaac was like, oh, fuck yeah, I need to be on this ship, yeah. because my girlfriend's on the ship, Nicole. So she's, like, one of the main missions we're here is to kind of rescue her. Yeah. I mean, it's his personal mission. Yeah, like, he's here with, uh, Seasick or whatever. Or whatever the fuck it's called. Hey, Box. What you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> that stomp, though. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is the only voice acting in the entire game. For Isaac. I can't remember if in this one or if it's the sequel, he starts yelling, like, fuck. Like, if you're stopping at him, he's like, fucking god, fucking god <laughs> damn it. Appropriate. Also, do not, do not stomp the junk. Come on. 
You're better than this. No, I gotta make sure he can't get got. You know. Isaac, be careful. Oh yeah. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. This game's really like hammering home. That should do the job. Shoot the limbs because it was such a new concept at the time. Like. Yeah. Because every, everything gaming has told you like headshots or or go for the core. Yeah. This game was like like one to the head, five to the core. Yeah. But this game was like ten listen, to the limbs. That's not gonna do shit. You know? Yeah. Because you don't have guns. Your mining tools. Yeah. There is a gun you can get in the game. Not super great. Or is there the only one? There's Ripper the Flamethrower. It's just my stasis module. Um, yeah, most of them are like mining tools. There's one like machine gun, which is okay. I mean, size and nunchucks wow. were farming tools. I just got past the door, game. Sort your shit out. Alright. First rule of uh, survival horrors, Chris. Uh, there's always goodies in the bathroom. Mm hmm. I wish there was light in the bathroom. That would be neat. You don't need no stinking light. Where where am I? Also, I mean, I'm sure this happens. I don't know if I've been to a bathroom that's quite this open with the men and female side of things, right? Uh, I mean, even at the mall. Know, it just feels like... No, that... that... I mean, you choose a direction to go, but that's not really any less secure than you could just open the door to the women's if you were determined to go in there. Like, it's... Yeah, I guess. I suppose so. Ooh, that's a box. Hey, box. How did we get to you? <gasps> I mean, could you curb stomp a box if you had to? Yeah. I mean, let me rephrase that. These are not cardboard boxes. These are clearly, like... It's all a question of footwear. If I had some big old motherfucker boot, boots, then some yeah. Brutes. Some brutes, yes. Yeah. Get myself a power note. You've had a good pair of stomping boots before, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I've had some shit kickers. Right. So you got those on. Yeah, you could. Oh, hello. You could curve stomp a box. Hey, friend. Yeah, I'm gonna level with you. The survival horror thing might be a little less horror in this game than you might like. Um, I've played the shit out of this game. Now, yeah. Chris might get spooked. Alright, yeah, where are you? Are you behind me yet? Respawned in. What's the scariest game you've played? Was it this one when you first did it? Or like an it was last or something. stressful. Um, I guess the one that like left there were, lasting. There were a couple fear. moments in Outlast that I was just like, "Holy fuck!" Like that crawling through the bookcase and then Shrek wear pig. So I will say the the, the first the computer, that's jump scary. Online, yeah, the, the first game that like I experienced that type of gameplay with, where it's like you cannot you cannot um, defend yourself. You just have to. Oh, this is just explaining the puzzle. Though. I kind of fast forward through this puzzle. Basically, that arm was gonna like not stay attached, so I had to freeze it in place to then go yeah. turn it on. And we're taking the, the destroyed tram and, and replacing it. Yeah. Um. Oh, hello. That's when we spawn. When the tram goes back. Okay. Um. But there was a game called Call of Cthulhu: Dark Corners of the Earth. Hmm. And uh, what platform? It, PC. Okay. Uh, I think maybe on Xbox and PS2 as well, but um, and there was a sequel. It's basically based off of uh, Shadow o Shadow Over Innsmouth. Okay. Um, and there's a sequence where you go to sleep in a like hotel, and then the townsfolk try to kill you. Um, well, that's uh, problematic. What's up? Yeah, I can't hurt him. I think they really let him be on screen way too long there. Yeah. Um, that should be like an unsettling, not a uh, a clear look. Here I am. Um, but yeah, so there's a game called Call of Duty Dark and you're sleeping in a motel in the town when you first get there, and the townsfolk come for you at night. 
And so you, yeah. you have no way to defend yourself. You just have to run like hotel room to hotel room, you know, closing bookshelves behind you, dropping out windows, going rooftop to rooftop. That's eventually. pretty intense. Um, and that was the first time I ever encountered like the game mechanic of you can't defend yourself. Yeah. Uh, and like so you're not going to shoot your way out of this. You have to get away. That's the only option. Like you don't even have any weapons, so it's it's not even an option to. Okay, well you, I thought you were dead, but you are not. Yeah. Um, and so things like sense have, have, you know, replicated that feeling. At last, it's 100 percent that yeah. game type. Well, that was you waste. Um. So I think maybe that might be the most like scary experience. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay unlocked. The data board should be somewhere inside. Also, should we find a closer point? Yeah, there's a safe station right there. I just have to walk over to that safe station. Just right there. Just have to well, walk Well, it's a good thing that over. thing is uh, just completely ah! dead. <laughs> Chris, did that spook you? Did I smell that spook for you at all? I thought I played it quite cool. Yeah, there's no foreshadowing whatsoever. All right, well, I think this is episode one. And, uh... You've already got some saves. <laughs> yeah, I've, well, I've beat the shit out of this game. Yeah. Like this! <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, uh, thank you, you for time. watching, everybody. Uh, we Bye. will see you again soon. Ooh, shiny.